to God for whom the fans of protection and attachment. Now listen to this. <laughs> when Satan touched Job and his whole body become boils, his wife said to him, Are you still going to trust in God? Are you still going to trust in that God? Alright, let me give you a reason why you shouldn't trust in him. All your candles is gone. Mm -hmm. All your napkins is gone. All your children is gone. And you now is full of boys. Why do you trust me? When your inner man, Elisha, is connected with God, your answer will be, they feel I think into this world and naked shall I return. You have spoken as one of the foolish woman that Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Church, what am I saying to you today? I am speaking to your inner man. Your flesh has been battered and wounded. So your inner man needs to have a connection with God so you can heal your body.
He knows who you are. Amen. God knows who you are. Hallelujah. And He will certainly see you through. It's all right for your friends to laugh now. For the time will come when they are going to want to laugh, but they can't laugh. Have you ever heard this one? First love is not really love, but the last love. Hallelujah. 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 Church, I'm going to bless you today. I want to bless you today. I want to bless you to let you know that you're in a man. That's what you need to work on now. For your flesh reach to the place that it will mess you up. Amen. So you cannot lean on the flesh. You have to lean down on the inner man. Hear this man. For they that worship him in spirit the Lord. Yes. Listen to this. Must worship him. In spirit. Hallelujah. In spirit and in truth. truth. Okay, what that is saying now. God is not about your flesh. Amen. You want to tell you why? If you examine the Bible, a great prophet like Isaiah was sawn in pieces. Talk to me. God don't care about your flesh, your soul. That's what God cares about. Amen. Peter, the man that has the power on the head of the church, Amen. what he found here is bound in heaven. Right. He was crucified on an upside-down cross. Your flesh is only for your survival in this atmosphere. But your soul, your inner man, will reign forever with a new body that nobody can spoil. Oh, are you willing to get real serious with God? Are you ready now to understand? You see the problem is that then if you read and you don't understand, you can move. So I want when you read the word of God, you understand the word of God. In case you don't understand the word of God, it is like a storybook. Amen. It's about what I am asking. And that's the joke that is done. But when it comes to God, it's not a joke. It's an education for eternity. It's to give you power around your surroundings. Listen to me now. No wickedness like to see the people of God praise God when wickedness is come down there. You should be hiding and crying. You should be curled up in a corner and just acting like you have leprosy. But hear me now. Well, question. When your soul <laughs> is connected with God and you are listen to me now. Let me take you a little bit more. Do you remember the tree you boys? Don't read that like a storybook. It is something that happened. Leo shall die.
Listen where they work on. Hey, go talk about what I need you to get there. I need all of you to get there. He said, listen to me now. The confident, the faith, the assurance, the hope that I have in the Lord. Jehovah God. Listen to this. It's not about you at this time to save us. When he is going to save us or not, are you not hearing me? You're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. I hope you This is not about whether he's going to save me or not. Whether he's going to save me or not, Leo Shaka, where I am at, and oh God, look at me. of what I'm saying to you. Oh, it's not just a normal coming to church and read the Bible and talking. Where I am with God, whether God is able to want to save me or not, it's not about the claim that you can save me or not, because I'm good then. Amen. So whether he is or not, I will not pay you so you can show us in the fire. Oh, yeah. That is up to you. That is up to you. And also God. So don't even try to change my mind. Because it is Malaya permanently fixed. And God doesn't try. No evil spirit will change my mind. No lying tongue will change my mind. Amen. No deceivingness, deception will change my mind. No bribery of money will change my mind. God Almighty, I said to tell you that nothing will change my mind. For so as weird I am at, I have a proper hook. I have a proper connection. Because he is to be served. Amen. 